Hey everybody, Drew with GeoArm, and I'm here to talk to you about the M2M MN02-LTE, whether it be the AT&T or Verizon model, it, it does not matter, they both wire in the exact same. Uh, we are going to talk about a few things here today uh, on this video. Uh, primarily, we're going to talk about getting your communicator wired into the panel. Um, for both non-interactive and interactive services. So prior to getting any of this done, you want to ensure that your security system is actually powered down. You want to make sure that you've disconnected power to both the power supply and the battery. So this panel is definitely powered down. It has no power at all, actually. Uh, so what we're going to be doing first is uh, we're going to be going over the documentation itself. So this documentation is very important for those of you that will be using the interactive app specifically because your login credentials will be located directly on this, located right here. It'll say user and pass. So make sure that you save this documentation for those of you that are using the interactive app and even those of you that aren't, just make sure you save this because it's got some useful information on it. I'm going to go ahead and put this to the side. We're going to get it started on getting this wired in. The first things you're going to see here are the antenna itself and the M2M modules. So the antenna sometimes comes disassembled with this piece off of the actual antenna itself. So you just want to go ahead and make sure to get that screwed on. Very, very easy. All right. And then after you do that, you, you know, those of you guys are probably going to be putting this outside of the box or wherever you're going to put it. So uh, you're going to be probably going through these holes or, or feeding it out. In this case, what I'm going to be doing is I'm just going to do it straight on, you know, on top of here so you guys can see this. This antenna, by the way, is pretty neat because it, it's magnetic, so it'll stick right to the box. So in this case, we'll just get this thing screwed on real quick. Make sure it's nice and snug on there. Okay. See that? Just connects very easy. Now, we're going to go ahead and get the connections to the panel made. These first connections I'm going to make here are for those of you that are not going to be using the R-Control app to control it from your smartphone. Uh, this is for strictly just for communications only, just trying to get a signal to Central Station, and that's all you're worried about. So here we go. The first two wires you're going to do here, for those of you doing this for communications only, you're going to be taking the red wire and going to AUX+, Plus like so. Then you're going to be taking the black wire and going to aux negative, which is located directly to the right of the terminal, or of, of the one you just went into. So aux minus for black. So we have our connections made for both aux plus and aux minus, which is red and black, respectively. All right, now the next thing we're going to be doing here is we're going to go ahead and get the green and yellow wires wired in. Green is going to be for the ring, so you're going to take green and go into what's labeled A ring right here and then go ahead and get that screwed down. Like so. Okay, we've got our green connection made. Now, you're going to be taking the yellow wire and you're going to be going into tip, which is located directly to the right of the terminal that you just wired into. So B tip screw that down. Now there may have been wires in these terminals prior to you getting this installed. You want to make sure that there are no wires in A, B, C, or D. These should be the only two wires making connection down there. So now you have your connections for both power for, for this device and now you have communications. So this device is completely configured at this point for communications only. So those of you that are not using the interactive app, you're good to go and you're ready to rock. And now continuing, for those of you that are wanting to get this wired in for interactive um, through the key bus, uh, it's actually pretty easy to do here. Uh, what you're going to be doing is you are going to be taking this orange wire that is hanging, because there's only two left, orange and white. The orange wire, you are going to be taking that and it is going to be going into what's labeled YEL on your keypad bus. And you go ahead and you screw that down. Okay. And then you want to take the white wire, and the white is going to be getting screwed into GRN or green, the abbreviation for green here, and get that screwed down. And then at that point, this panel is ready for the power to be reapplied and for you to give us a call to get this thing activated. Uh, don't forget to document the actual serial number on this M2M, which is located right here on the front. It's a six digit number. That's what we're going to need to get this going for you. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube page and click the show more tab underneath the video where you can view valuable links pertaining to this product, similar how-to videos, and our low-cost, no-contract alarm monitoring services.